What's going on there, ladies and ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Treetop Piper. Just got some packages in the mail. Smoking on a little bit of Penzance. I know I've been going a little bit of a little bit Penzance crazy lately, but uh, it's just started to hit home that wait a second, you know, it took five years to get it like this. And I and I don't have any replacement at all. So um, I basically sequestered off a jar full, like two ounces, <clears throat> getting to the end of it. And once I've hit the end of that, I'm until I get more um, and know that I've got more in the pipeline because I'll probably never open another tin or bag of that and, until I know it has five years on it. Because now I realize why people aged it. It is most excellent on its own or, or without any age, but I realized all the times that I had got it, I was just jumping the gun by opening it so quickly. I didn't even realize that there was yet more yet to come. I just assumed that they aged it enough. Anyway, I've got some packages here. You know, I tell you, and I've smoked this damn blend out of so many pipes, and it makes no difference, to be honest. I've smoked it out of Peterson's, I've smoked it out of Dunhill's, K Woody's, uh, <clears throat> Meersham's, K Woody Meersham's, Peterson Meersham's, and they're just. I mean, it just really smokes well. Like, I was telling somebody about it the other day. I said, when you see an old Sherlock Holmes film, and, you know, when you think of that and you think of pipe smoking, this is what they were trying. This is what they were smoking. This is what... English pipe smoking was years ago. It's such a big empire that they had access to all kinds of different tobaccos. And then they also had people stationed everywhere that got, you know, became, <clears throat> that it became uh, uh, the tobacco flavors from that area they were stationed became something they missed when they went home. So, They would talk to Alfred Dunhill and other tobacconists like that and have them specially make them blends. Mm. Now I know one of these is a K. Woody. And it was super fast. He got here in days. I mean, uh, I believe he, he said he sent this out on Saturday. Ooh, 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 this is actually the other one. This is one that I got. A while ago and there's nobody there's no other this couldn't be another pipe this is a different one this is a Peterson there's no way there's somebody else from Israel sent me a different pipe <laughs> mm. Now this guy, he didn't quite know what he had, but he knew he had something. Mm. That's a Clay Peterson, ladies and gents. Still has the tax stamp, and that's an Israeli tax stamp. And they completely quit making these in like 1963. And uh, the guy was saying,
I made like a chink noise, but he was saying he thought it might have been a display model. No way. No, this ain't a display model. This is a smoker. What's crazy is the in, inner clay there, it's so white. Oh my God, it's almost like a blue compared to the outer. But uh, it's actually a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Mm. Mm. Hmm. 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 I paid a lot of money for this. And actually, I think I got a good deal on it. I think because somebody, I mean, I think that if this were to have sold via auction, I don't think I would have been able to afford it. Hmm. This was made the no later than 1963. And they did it from the 40s on to like 63 because of the difficulty getting briar. And it really, wow, it's, it's in pretty fantastic shape. And there was another shape that was more of a billiard or an egg. And apparently this was the one to get of the two. They only did two shapes. It's got Peterson's system. Stamped right there. They only did two shapes, and this was one of them, and the, this was the shape to get. And uh, I actually had to pass up on some, I don't know if any of you guys saw some of the Peterson mirrors that came up this week. A brand new Aboriginal came up, and I, did, I couldn't afford it because I ordered this, but um, it must use a nickel band. It doesn't have any hallmarks. But I think, honestly, I'm pretty sure that this was worth uh, my time. This was more worth my time than, uh, than a Meerschaum that I already have two of. Because, like they say, I mean, you, you really can't get as pure of a flavor as with clay. Clay is the purest smoking flavor. Second to Meerschaum. And man, this is this definitely has some serious age to it. This is not a new Peterson at all. You know, this is what does that say? O two O two three six nine. I mean, maybe that was uh, Oh, I don't know. I don't I, I'm not sure. Anyway, but um I guess that could have been February 3rd, 69, yeah. Um, but it wasn't imported till then, maybe. But I really like that it's not huge. And I like that the bowl's not gigantic. I mean, the bowl is pretty big. There, I mean, you can fit a decent amount of pie, uh, tobacco in that, but I think this is actually a neat piece of history. They only made these for so many years. This is the preferred bowl style. Now, I'm just going to have to be really careful. This, this ain't going to be leaving the house. Um, I'll probably be keeping this. I mean, that's that's definitely clear porcelain, you know. And I'll, I'll have to keep this. Uh, I'll have to keep this in something that can that can uh, that's got some padding and whatnot. Um, it's really well, well um, preserved. Honestly, nobody's ever smoked it. Extremely well preserved. I mean, this is a piece of history for sure. That's why I purchased it. And here's the second one. And I did pay a pretty penny. I, I, I paid a pretty penny for it. But I think even though it's a Peterson, yeah, it's not a Dunhill. But being the rarity of it and the fact that, you know, Dunhill never really made me clay. I mean, clay pipes are considered... It's like a Meerschaum, you know, there's no briar flavor. There's no, you know, you, you're just getting straight uh, tobacco flavor. And I just, I couldn't resist the fact that it was clay, 
never smoked. I mean, what are you going to do? You know, I couldn't resist. I figured worst case scenario, if I change my mind, I'll get more than I paid for it back in an, in an auction. I know that because I didn't buy it from an, uh, uh, an auction on eBay. I bought it outright. And the guy, like I said, I'm pretty sure he had an idea of what he had, but he didn't know what he had because I'm pretty sure that he could have probably got at least a couple hundred more from an auction. Now this one, I've been watching and waiting for something like this to come out for a long time. And uh, this is a flame grain, a K. Woody flame grain, and it's an opera ball where it's an oval, an oval um, style. I've, I've been waiting for an ovular um, to pipe for a long time from K. Woody, but I didn't want to buy a cheesy one. Same thing with the carburetor. I didn't want a cheesy one. I wanted it to have the four hole stinger which actually I was hoping this one would have a, it would be an older four hole stinger, but this one ain't bad. Honestly, really and truly, that's a freaking beautiful pipe. Really, I, I knew it was a beautiful pipe. When I bought it, I said, damn, you know, whoever owned that took very good care, very good care of that pipe. And it's a four hole stinger, so you know, it's, it's definitely from the 40s, 50s, and it's beautiful. It has some absolutely beautiful grain on it. It's flame grain. The grain is gorgeous, and I can tell there's no chatter. It wasn't smoked to oblivion. There's a lot of life left in this puppy. And, like, uh, you know, it's it's not super big. And I like uh, that, you know, it has that oval uh, shape to it. So it makes it a really nice, just grab this and go kind of thing. Grab this pipe and go. You know, you, a, a pouch of tobacco, this pipe, and you're ready to rock. And, uh, oh man, I can't believe you got it to me so quick. And it's in such good shape. I can't believe... Man, somebody really took good care of that. Because that's not a... Res I don't believe that's a restored pipe. Because it has plenty of patina still. But man, it's still got the beautiful grain. And, and it still shows that it's been taken really well care of. And probably hasn't been smoked out of that often. It, it really... I'm, I'm probably getting maybe... It's probably only been smoked out of a dozen times. If that, you know, whoever owned this certainly didn't use it to its fullest potential, but I most certainly will. To me, this this, is, this would be great to take out, you know, to have some drinks. Just, you know, it's not a big pipe. It's not going to really be bulky in the pocket. But I thought, you know, that two great, pick, two great uh, pickups, you know, a freaking hen's teeth status clay peterson that they haven't made in 60 years and then an oval k woody flame grain four hole stinger i just thought you guys would like to see those anyway uh i can't wait for the drawing this weekend guys and see which one of you which uh wh what you guys are going to go home with um which one of you guys are going to go home with what but um you know, keep them coming. If you guys still got your uh, VRs coming, keep them flowing. You know, uh, the more the merrier as far as I'm concerned. But uh, I'll go ahead and let y'all get to your, your Monday evenings. And uh, until next time, it's your boy Treetop Piper. Catch you guys on the flip side.